Hey everyone, this is Minion from Minion's Army, and today's video is a guide to using the wall wrecker at the Town Hall 10 level. But before I get into that, let me say that Dead Parrots is super excited to announce that we have joined Aphelion Esports. We have set up a new clan, AE Parrots, which we're going to use for ESL events and the like. And we're excited we've got that up to level four. We're gonna push it on up as high as we can go. But we're gonna use the queen today to help us during this coronavirus outbreak to um, showcase the wall wrecker and how we can use the wall wrecker. So the wall wrecker has basically three purposes. You're going to use it as a tank to protect your other troops and to set those clan castle troops into the center of the base. The second way that you can use the wall wrecker is you can use it also as a tank and then you can deploy the wall wrecker or break the wall wrecker apart to make the clan castle troops, your clan castle troops, join up with your other troops. Another way that you can use the wall wrecker is part of a kill squad to take care of the enemy queen and clan castle troops. And then you're going to follow up, but you can use the wall wrecker to follow up even with an air army. So most people use the wall wrecker with ground armies because they want to use have that tank portion but there are people who use it with air armies and I've got several videos to showcase this and we'll get started right now. Okay everyone, let's take a hit from, or take a look at Logan's hit here. So Logan's using the wall wrecker in what you would consider a traditional way. He's using the wall wrecker as a tank and as part of the initial push into the base to get to the defenses that he wants to take care of and to get those clan castle troops deep in. So he goes ahead and he had a pretty heavy um, front row of, de of offensive troops with those four P.E.K.K.A. Two of them pushed in, um, two of them went down the flanks, one with the king and a wizard. And uh, you can see the wall records in there, it's right in on the queen, it's going to pop, he rages, he heals, and those bowlers just absolutely gut the base. They take care of a ton of defenses and makes an easy pathing for those hogs to move around. So the hogs are going to go around um, the base in a, you know, basically a counterclockwise way. Um, they're easy to keep within the heal spell because of the way the, uh, the defenses are stacked and they are together. So it makes for um, easy prediction of when to put the heels down if you have all of your hogs together. Um, the base building design for hogs to fight hogs would be to separate those defenses and try and get those hogs to split. Especially if you have a Tesla that's equal distance from another defense um, it, that will possibly cause them to split, which would be the goal is to get those hogs to split. If you can separate the pack of hogs, then you can hopefully um, you know fend them off a little bit. But great hit, Logan. All right, let's take a look at a Demon Rider's attack here. So same thing, Wall Wrecker is gonna go head towards the Town Hall. He has a real heavy front. We saw a lot of four P.E.K.K.A. hits here. And uh, he's bringing this Wall Wrecker in behind the P.E.K.K.A. and the Wizards, adds a few more P.E.K.K.A. as the King, as the Queen. And he gets those troops to funnel in behind the Wall Wrecker. And he is on a path to take care of the enemy Queen and also to take care of the enemy clan castle troops. So here out comes a hound and a loon. He went ahead and froze up the center there, um, froze the queen, froze the hound and the loon, and had them under poison, which just helps give some longevity to, uh, to his troops there in the core, keeps the wall wrecker alive a little longer. Out from the wall wrecker, bowlers, giant, raged and healed, and here come the hogs. So the queen is going to take care of the hound, it will pop here in a little bit and she will work on that. The hogs are continuing to work around the base and the, this time they are going clockwise. They started off in the west, they're working their way down to the south and they're going to continue on over to the west. So they started in the east, head to the south, go to the west. I think I said that wrong before. So sorry if I get my uh, north, south, east, west a little mixed up every once in a while. It's a little hard with clash. But anyways, here we go. So the uh, the hogs are working themselves around the base. They're healed, um, and you can see he has loads of troops still up. So he has most of his bowlers up from the clan castle, and uh, you know loads of barbs from his king and archers from the queen. So nice hit. 
All right, let's take a look at Phillips hit here. Now this is definitely a pro hit. There's a lot going on at the same time, but uh, basically it's it's another type of wall wrecker hit. It's a little different than, than what you typically see because he's not using the wall wrecker as part of the kill squad. So he's coming in super heavy. He has two golems, his wizards, his queen, and then he's also going to add some bowlers and his king to the kill squad. He uses wall wreckers to push through that first layer of wall and uh, nice work with the freeze on the inferno to make sure that those wall wreckers got in there and it if you pay attention and you, and you go back a little bit you can see he did use a test wall breaker he puts the jump down and now he's got access to the enemy queen and also the enemy clan castle troops now philip goes ahead he knows that his troops are um pretty stout we'll say and that one loon is not going to wreck havoc on the king i mean the king's got a ton of hit points so he goes ahead and he saves his poison until the hound pops. After the hound pops, he went ahead and used his poison. And uh, that's going to take, his queen will take care of all the pups and also that loon. So if you had seen um, more loons come out of that clan castle, you may have decided to go ahead and poison that. But with the hound, he held onto the poison. So he is working his troops counterclockwise around the base. So you saw the surgical deployment of the, of the hogs. He has the wall wrecker coming in and he expertly timed his wall wrecker to meet up with uh, with those other hogs. And as you notice, let's see if he pops the wall wrecker when they join in. Your wall wrecker does not have to go all the way around it. So that wall wrecker was at half life and then he decided to pop it right when his hogs joined up. Nice job, Philip. That's excellent pro move here. He uses that last heal going into the wizard tower and also into the multi inferno. He's got some uh, skeletons on his tail, but uh, with those max ho or hogs that came out of that wall wrecker, um, they're going to be able to withstand that. He'll take care of this last defense, and then those hogs will turn around and take care of the skeletons. And then after the hogs have got all of the defenses down, they're just going to work around the base as cleanup. He has, it looks like, one wizard and maybe one archer that are up oh, two wizards working on cleanup. So. You know, even though he came in with quite a few wizards, um, those, you know, those hogs are taking care of it. Looks like there's a mix of the max hogs and then his um, level six hogs. So great hit, Philip. Excellent way to use the wall wrecker. Uh, thanks for letting me share it. Um, it's always nice to see somebody do something different with one. Okay, let's take a look at Zex's hit here. So we have seen the wall wrecker used as a tank to deliver clan castle troops into the core of the base. We've seen the wall wrecker used as a tank to deliver troops to the other troops that are joining around the base. And now we're taking a look at something a little bit different. So he is using a wall wrecker and he's using it with an air army. So we're looking at a wall wrecker meant to use to be a tank to get those troops to the core of the base, take care of the enemy queen, take care of the enemy clan castle. And um, then he is going to finish this attack. Instead of using hogs, which is a ground troop, he's going to be using a Lalo. So let's watch this evolve. Enemy queen is taken care of and also the enemy clan castle troops. Wall record just now pops. He heals, he rages. He went ahead and froze one of the infernos because um, it was just doing too much damage. And he got good value for that by taking care of that double cannon as well. So now we are working our way around the base. If we take a look, um, this particular base has a single set Inferno and single set Infernos will do damage to uh, you know heavy troops because they go one at a time, it ramps up. Um, he was able to save his queen by using um, her cloak, which made her invisible. And we're just working these loons and these hounds around the base clockwise. So got the cleanup minions down, hasted up loons, and another haste put down. He'll probably heal them and oh, he hasted first. Let's see where he puts the heal. Puts the heal down at the very, very end. He just has three more defenses. Now he's down to one more defense and uh, this base is cleared. So he is working the one, so he has the one royal, the queen is still up just with a sliver of life. The minions, the pups, and the loons are now on cleanup mode. So uh, great hit and move it off into double time mode as it is in cleanup. So good job.
All right. So this is a pro attack, I'm going to say, because it does not go 100% according to plan. We've got two uh, golems coming in, and he used, if you notice, the queen is over to the right of that golem, and that's going to cause her to walk. Um, now, I, I wasn't in the clan when this attack went down. That may have been the plan. Um, the enemy was running a lot of hound loon um, attacks. So, uh, or enemy clan castle troops, I should say. So, given that he is also running a Lalo, his main goal may be to, to really take care of that enemy queen. He put the poison down for the loon. Um, the loon kind of skirted the edge of the poison ring, so it did not go down. But uh, the wall wrecker is continuing to push on, uses the rage, uses the heal, takes care of the enemy clan castle, and also, if you notice, took, took care of ADs, which is really important for the Lalo and also the sweepers. So now we have the Lalo portion coming in. And you notice that this base has really been condensed where the defenses are. He had, unfortunately, a Tesla pop up to the north, which caused a few loons to split, but it was taken care of in a hurry. He's got the haste down, and he is hasting into you know, the uh, the wizard tower into the multi inferno into the expo and he goes ahead and he uses one ground troop which is that archer to pull that hound and that loon up to the north so the the loon's not going to do any damage to alalo yet that hound if that hound pops and the only way that it would really pop would be is if some of the pups from your hound went ahead and attacked it but he uses that archer up there just to get it out of the way so he can go ahead and he can clean up the space. So this was a great hit. I'm not sure if the, I could see a player like this using that queen as, um, you know, purposely taking her to the outside or, um, you know, maybe it was a misstep and he misplaced her and she walked. Um, either way, way to keep your cool, a nice clearing of a base.